Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here, and today we are going to talk about a very interesting symbiotic relationship between goby fish and pistol shrimp. A symbiotic relationship in biology is when two different species live together to the benefit of one or both creatures. In this case, both the goby and the pistol shrimp benefit from living together. Before we can learn about how these two animals work together, we need to know a little bit about each one individually. The pistol shrimp, or snapping shrimp, is considered to be one of the loudest creatures on Earth. They have one modified claw that they use as a defense mechanism against predators. The snapping sound that their modified claw makes is louder than a gunshot and can break a glass jar. The sound is actually not made by the claw hitting together as scientists first believed. The sound is created by a bubble that is formed when the shrimp snaps its claw. The bubble can travel up to 68 miles per hour, and when the bubble pops, it pops with such force that the sound is created. A short burst of light is also created when a shrimp snaps, but the light happens so quickly that it's invisible to the naked eye. One of the first questions I wondered when I found out about the snapping shrimp is what happens if the shrimp loses its snapping claw? The answer is very interesting. Like many other animals that have the ability to regenerate or regrow a lost body part, a new snapping claw will grow back. The thing that is unique about the snapping shrimp though is that they reverse claw. That means that to make the process of their defense claw growing back take less time, their smaller claw grows into their snapping claw and a new regular claw grows back where their lost snapping claw once was. I find snapping shrimp to be so interesting that a snapping shrimp is a character in the third Friends with Fins book, which is a bedtime book that will be published soon. In the meantime, if you don't have the first two Friends with Fins books, you can get them by clicking on the card. Now that we know about snapping shrimp, let's talk about goby fish. Gobies come from one of the largest fish families known as gobiidae. There are over 2,000 different species of goby fish that are found all over the world, both in the salty water of the ocean as well as the brackish water found in estuaries. Their habitats range from tide pools to coral reefs to seagrass meadows. Generally, gobies are bottom dwellers and range in size from 1 to 4 inches. They don't have their own defense mechanism to defend against predators, and that's where the symbiotic relationship with the snapping shrimp comes in handy. Snapping shrimp are almost blind, so they can't see to hunt and can't see when predators are approaching. Because of this, they use their antenna to stay connected to watchman gobies. When the goby senses danger, it wiggles its tail to alert the snapping shrimp to snap. If the danger is within striking distance, they both dart into a burrow that they live in together that is often built by the snapping shrimp. So in return for help with defense, the goby provides eyes for the shrimp. This is a photo by Mark Strickland of a snapping shrimp and a blue spotted watchman goby. It is the perfect illustration of how these two animals live together. As you can see, the shrimp is using its antenna to take signals from the goby and the goby is standing guard. Thank you to Mark Strickland for sharing your pistol shrimp goby photos for this video. A link to Mark's website is in the info section below if you want to see more amazing underwater creatures or sign up for his dive travel newsletter. If you have questions or comments about goby fish or snapping shrimp, leave them below. If you want to watch a whole video on Tidewater gobies featuring scientist Brenton Spees, there is a link to that Friends with Fins video in the info section below as well. If you want weekly ocean and conservation information, click subscribe. See you next Friends with Fins Friday. Thanks for watching.